Hey everybody, Steven here, and for today's video, I'm going to talk about the importance of doing dead hangs and some of the regressions and some of the things that I'm looking for with my own clients and with myself um, when we're doing this. Now, one of the things I like to talk about with clients is a thing that Ray Kelly with Evolve Move Play has talked about, which is like divorcing function away from movement and intent away from movement. With this, we often do movements at the gym. Typically we're doing shoulder press, and bench press, and all these other things, but we don't even know why the shoulder is built the way it is. We don't know what the intent of the shoulder is. Now, if you're looking at more of the evolutionary biology side, our arm, our shoulder girdle, right, which has three degrees of motion, right, it's designed to throw and to hang or to brachiate, right? Brachiation is swinging from tree to tree, right? So, um, Dead hangs are really, really important. A lot of times people at the gym are just doing that pressing motion or they're just doing the pull-up or they're not hanging. A lot of people don't hang for long periods of time. Um, this goes back to more the natural movement side. We're just not climbing trees anymore. Doing a pull-up off a straight bar, even this one's good, but if I go out in the forest, this doesn't exist. So with this, um, the texture of the bark, the shape of it, right? The shape of that tree limb, it's all gonna be different. It's gonna give me different positions for my shoulder and I think that's super important. But this is something that for some people, you're not just gonna go climb a tree. You're gonna need a gradual buildup. It's also important because this right here is going to elongate my spine um, and keeping it in that position versus just me contracting the whole time. I'm actually getting a stretch for that shoulder girdle um, in my spine as well. So holding on right here, I have this bar here. So in this position, one of the skills I could do would just be to bend my knees so it's not as much weight versus if I bring my legs off of this. And that's a skill that I could use, for instance, maybe if I'm using a um, bar that's off a squat rack, right? You have a pull-up bar that's off a squat rack. You could put a bozu or a box underneath you and you could keep your feet here. And then essentially all I'm doing is bending my knees enough that I feel safe and comfortable in that position where I can hold it 20 to 30 seconds, right? And then I can go here in this dead hang. Now, once I'm here, typically I'm gonna do a little bit of twisting and I could still do that here just to get some rotation through that, right? I might kind of shift side to side. The other big thing that I'm gonna do is actually loading up that shoulder as well, where this would be an unloaded position, right? I would pull up and load that. Now, as I'm doing that, I don't want excessive rib flare. So as I'm hanging here, I don't want to pull all this like this. It's just shooting my lower back forward too much. That's not what I'm going for, right? I want to make sure that I keep that down and I'm able to pull that up. A lot of people will use this just as an activation drill, which is to sink and to pull up to get that shoulder girdle active. Super important. You could do that for reps if you wanted to. I'll typically do five to 10. I like Edo Portal's thing with this where just that and flat footed squats right coming into this position he does he likes people to do five minutes a day however you deconstruct that I'll do rounds of 30 seconds here and a minute here and I'll go back and forth sometimes I'll push this I might go 45 seconds for a minute and we're improving that grip as well um, but that's something that I'll do quite regularly big thing with this a lot of people will um, start and they'll be like dude my grip gives up Something Rafe said when I went to train with him that I think is super important. He says, um, when we're looking at grip strength, it's actually an indicator for shoulder strength, right? Because this is just the extension of that. So if the shoulder's weak and that shoulder girdle is weak, it's gonna demand more out of the forearm. And something like this, when you initially start, all you're really gonna feel is the burn in the forearm. Now I hold, if I hang long enough, yeah, maybe. But if I look at like rock climbers and people that are really good at the calisthenics where they're like walking their body around, Typically, like their shoulder is so strong, they don't really feel their grip, right? Yeah, it's being worked, but their shoulder is strong enough that it's supporting this. So that's going to be it for today. My suggestion, 20 to 30 seconds. Start with two to three rounds a day and then slowly build up from there and really aim for that five minute mark of hangs, right? Being able to just hang. And it's not that all at once. It's just randomly throughout the day, right? Now, for some people, they're like, well, I don't have a barbell. I don't have anything to hang off at my house. I don't have a, a squat rack or anything like that. I'm literally gonna have to go to the gym. Just get it in when you can, right? This could be part of a warm up. 
it can be part of the cool down as well to just lengthen everything. So that is it, guys. If you liked the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all of my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.